What's up, what's up, and welcome to Stick It. My name is Lindsay Lee Hobson, and I'm an inspirational speaker and personal coach who started a revolution for young adults. And it's sort of mid-afternoon on a Friday, and Friday afternoons I always get that slump, you know, when you just really want to eat like a giant packet of lollies or start drinking way too early in the day or whatever it is. It's like Friday afternoons, you know, you've always got to find a reason to keep motivated for the rest of the day. And so I thought I'm just gonna head out quickly because we're still allowed out here in Australia, Melbourne. So lucky for me, so I'm out just getting the blood pumping a little bit. And I thought this is a good time to talk to you and do a live, even if it is freezing and I hate being cold. This is a good time to tell you about something that I noticed a lot of people talking about today. You know, I spend a lot of time hanging out in Facebook groups, especially about anxiety and stress and depression. And there's a lot of frustration at the moment, a lot of frustration, especially are amongst those who are suffering from anxiety and are trying to get rid of it or um, are feeling depressed and not motivated to get out of bed and they haven't felt that way in a while but because of being uh, isolated and, and the distancing we're having to do at the moment you know people are really feeling it like way more than normal so there's a lot of it around and there's a lot of people asking questions about frustration so I thought just wanted to clear up a few things for any of you who are feeling frustrated at, at home or maybe just frustrated in life in general and because sometimes knowledge is power, well always knowledge is power, so I just wanted to share with you some things about frustration that could help you, especially if you're feeling anxious or depressed or more stressed than normal or more fearful about the future than normal. So frustration is definitely, is definitely part of that group. It's in the um, scarcity side of your brain. It's in the fear side of the brain. It is an extension of fear. It's sort of like, if you imagine fear is like this umbrella, you've got sort of two, there's fear and there's another one love and that's all the positive stuff but fear is one umbrella and frustration falls under that and it often feels like anger and it often feels like irritation and a sense of being trapped and if you feel like you are frustrated it's actually a really good sign like a really good sign and people think it's not but it is that's actually the reason you feel frustrated is because you care and if you didn't care about whatever it is you're frustrated about you wouldn't feel that way and more often than not we get frustrated about positive things frustration doesn't tend to uh, manifest in negative situations irritation does so if you have someone in your life for example who you feel like is just not listening no matter what you do you feel like they're just not listening whatsoever that's irritation, that's powerlessness, that's victimhood, that's all those things. It's usually not frustration. You may be a little bit frustrated because you care, but it's not the major feeling. It's actually separate from that, completely separate from that. And it's more along the lines of, oh, you know, I'm really trying to achieve this goal, but I'm just not getting the results I want. I'm working really hard. Why is it not happening as quickly as I want? That's usually the sorts of ways that we feel frustrated. It's things like that. And so what frustration, or what causes frustration really, is expectation. I bet you didn't think I was gonna say that. If you're feeling frustrated, it's because what you think should be the case is not the case. So what you're expecting out of your reality isn't what you're seeing in your reality. So begin to feel frustrated. And that's why it's a good thing, because you want something. You wanna achieve something, you wanna make a difference, you wanna uh, hit certain goals, earn milestones, overcome a certain challenge, create certain stories in your life, and it's not happening, so you feel frustrated. And then we could go down the whole line of, you know, progress doesn't always look like progress, but I've spoken about that quite a lot and I can always record more on it too if you're interested to know more. But for today, know that frustration is caused by expectations not being met in your mind. And that's why it's a good thing. That's why it doesn't always come into play uh, in negative sort of ways. It usually is a, real, or is a really good sign. It usually comes into play in really positive ways. And thank you for whoever's sending me love hearts. I can't see the faces, but thank you so much. Um, so it's usually a really positive thing. The thing that really is a good remedy, and you're not gonna see this coming either, right? The thing that is a really good memory, uh, memory, <laughs> remedy of frustration, right? Brace yourself. Forgiveness. If you have an expectation about something, there is an element of blame when it is not met. Now, whether you are the type of person that automatically blames the thing or your environment or your external circumstances or everything that's not you, or whether you blame yourself for not being good enough, not working hard enough, not being good enough for making money, not, not um, uh, putting enough effort in, there's always an element of blame. 
Thanks Adele, I appreciate that. Always an element of blame. So the remedy for frustration, which nobody ever expects, is always forgiveness. People assume it's gonna be acceptance, but the truth of the matter is, it's very difficult to come into a sense of acceptance without moving through a whole heap of processes first. You can't just switch on your mind and go, I accept this situation. That's not how acceptance works. It's more of an end destination or part of an end destination. It's not part of the process. It's not the first step you ever take towards anything. So the first step, I'm just gonna cross the road and I'm not gonna die, so that's a positive. The first step is always forgiveness. If you wanna remedy frustration and you're feeling frustrated, sit and meditate in yourself and really get honest with yourself who is it that you need to forgive what is it that you need to forgive and work on that and forgiveness can be really hard don't get me wrong so the stick it facebook group is there stick it is the revolution to empower one million young adults around the world to break the mold the facebook group is there it's free to join and it's a completely safe place to talk about hard things so if you get frustrated a lot then definitely, definitely join the Sticker Facebook group. That's a great place to get help with that and support with that. I would love to have you in there. And the other thing is, if you're getting frustrated on your endeavor to become the best version of you, and you feel like it's taking too long and you're not seeing the progress you want, join the free event that I have in next week, actually, in a week's time. The link's above you, completely free to come. It's about becoming the best version of you, and that's the sort of thing we're gonna help you with. Overcoming frustration, over knowing what it looks like, to help prevent you get frustrated as well. You know, all those sorts of things. So I would love, love, love to have you there. I hope this has been useful for you. There's a lot of frustrated people at the moment, so I hope this gets in front of them. If you know anyone is feeling frustrated, share this video with them. The most inspiring thing you can do is embrace who you are, walk the talk, live the reality that you want the people in your life to live, and move forward. So no matter what you do next, remember to stick it.